Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tamlin and this is Sewn on the Tine. I'm here today with quite a short video for you and it's a video which I'm calling Shop My Stash. So I'm aware that on YouTube, on my channel, I often show fabric that I've purchased and I seem to be topping up my fabric collection quite often. So I do have some fabrics in my collection that have been there for quite some time. I started dressmaking around March 2018, so about a year and a half, and in that time I have collected quite a substantial amount of fabric and patterns. So what I thought I would do to try and encourage me to use up some of the fabric and the patterns that I've had for a long time is to do a little series of videos called Shop My Stash, and I'm going to ask you for your help. So I'm going to pick out, well I have picked out, three fabrics and three patterns to go along with them from my collection. I'm going to show you them, talk you through them, and then I would like you to vote for the garment that you would like me to make up. I will put a poll on my community tab on YouTube, but you can also comment down below in the comments. And then in about a week's time, I will add up all of the votes and we'll see which one has got the most. And I will make that up as soon as I can. Just to let you know what I'm wearing, I have got on an Ogden Cami, so the True Bias Ogden Cami, in a fabric that I got from First for Fabrics well over a year ago, so they won't have it in now, but it's just a lightweight, viscose dressmaking fabric. And then I'm wearing my So Dainty necklace, which I will link down below, because she's got a gorgeous range. I've got this one in lilac and in black, and yeah, I'm trying to get it. There we go on an angle. I've also got on some new lipstick, which I just thought I would share with you because it's quite Halloween-y, autumnal. It's called Powder Puff in the colour Detention and it's from NYX or NYX as it's otherwise known. It's got like a little um, soft end, hence the name Powder Puff. I like it. So what I did was I actually went to my patterns first of all because I thought it would be easier that way around to pair them up. I picked out three patterns that I've had for ages and still not used yet. So the first one is the So Liberated Hinterland Dress. Now I've got this as a PDF. I've already printed it out and I've put it into this wallet. So the Hinterland Dress either comes as a short sleeved or no sleeve version or a sleeve version and it's got a button front and then a gathered waist just under the bust and it's got pockets and it looks wonderful and I know people that have made it and it always looks amazing and I don't know why I haven't made it yet. So that is option number one paired with this gorgeous lightweight chambray that I got from First for Fabrics last year. I've got two metres of it, so I don't think it'll be enough to make the version of the hinterland with the sleeves, but it would make the short sleeve version. I just think that would be a perfect pairing. So option number one, hinterland dress out of this lightweight chambray. Pattern number two that I picked out is by the Avid Seamstress and it is just called The Blouse. So it's a very simple, elasticated, cuff, button down mandarin collar blouse, which will be perfect for wearing for work, tucked into a skirt or some trousers. I really, really like this pattern. Again, don't know why I haven't made it up yet. I just need a little nudge in the right direction. And the fabric that I've picked out from my collection to make that in is this Lisa Comfort crepe. So it was the, I can't remember what the range was called actually, but she brought out a range of this design in a few different colours and I just really like this black version. I really like the cream version as well but I just wasn't sure that would suit me. I thought this would be more my colours. I would like to make the Avid Seamstress blouse in this Lisa Comfort crepe. And the final pattern that I've picked out is again one that I've had for about a year. It's the York Pinafore by Helen's Closet. So this is a great layering piece. You can make it either as a high neck or a lower neck version with either a kangaroo pocket on the front or patch pockets on the side. I love pinafores. I don't know why I haven't made it yet. Actually I do. I'll tell you why. 
because the neck and the arms are finished with binding and at the time when I'd first started dressmaking I got this out to make and it just really put me off oh, I can't be bothered <laughs> binding all of those edges but actually now that's not a problem for me I love that as a way of finishing a garment so that's my third option the York Pinafore by Helen's Closet and I've picked out this amazing needle cord which I bought from so Me Sunshine a few months ago and I just adore it. It's got little pomegranates all over and the colours are just gorgeous and it's perfect for autumn. So that would just make a really lovely pinafore dress, I think. So there we have it. That is the first instalment in Shop My Stash. I really would love your help to decide which one of those I should make or make first. <laughs> So if you could leave me some comments down below, that would be amazing. And also look out for a poll, which I'll put out on my community tab, asking which one of these I should make. So just to run through again, option number one is the Hinterland dress by So Liberated, made in a lightweight chambray fabric. Option number two is the blouse by the Avid Seamstress, made in the Lisa Comfort crepe fabric. And option number three is the Helen's Closet York pinafore, made in the pomegranate needle court. Thank you so much for watching and thank you in advance for your help. I would love it if you would subscribe if you don't already. I know I have a lot of people watching me who don't subscribe so it would be awesome if you could and give the video a little thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. I hope you're all well and I'll see you again soon. Happy sewing! Bye! So I do have some fabrics in my collection that have been there for quite some time. <laughs> I can see Ziggy in the background. <laughs> Ziggy! Oh, no, off she goes.